Welcome to Haxby Shed. I'm going to do an alignment test on the lathe that I've never done before. So to start with, I'm just clocking this bar in the fore jaw. Difficult to hold the camera, but it's less than half of a hundredth of a millimetre, so within about 0.2 of a thou, I suppose. The check I'm going to do is the alignment of the tailstock. Now I'm pretty confident the tailstock is aligned this way, away from me and close to me, because the lathe doesn't turn tapered if I machine along that. But sometimes when I'm using a drill or a reamer, it just seems to be a bit out of line when I use the reamer in the tailstock. So I want to check to see if the tailstock somehow could be out of alignment this way. So I'll put in the standard bar, I'll mount up the clock, we'll spin the chuck over and see if there's any, any variation. You'll see what I mean when I try. It's getting a bit chilly here in the UK. A bit foggy, wet. Not very nice really. Right, okay let's get the clock set up. Well I set up the clock on this bar and I spun the chuck and it seemed to be out. But then I thought, hang on a minute, let me just check because I'm clamping onto here. I'm not clamping here. Now that looks pretty good, doesn't it? But let me just move to here even. Look at that. Or if I move back to here, look at that. And then because I'd machined a reduction on there, look at that. So this is how I make my mistakes, you know, schoolboy errors. So okay, now I want to reset it up to clock it on here. And then we'll try again. Well that's better. Let's just move it along and see what happens. Well, even there it's run off now a little bit, but it's near enough. Okay, we'll try again. Okay, this is the setup. And I'll look at the clock and see what we've got. Okay, I'll read those off. Zero. Mm, six. Six. Nearly zero. One, in fact. And what I'm counting is one hundredths of a millimetre or 0.4 of a thou. So it's a little bit out, isn't it? Now, that might be just dirt in this Morse Taper 3 or something. So I'll just clean things and see where we are then. Just using a finger and a rag because I noticed there was a bit of dirt and rust in there. Let's try that. Not four six two. Hmm. Okay, it is out slightly. Worst case, what did I say? Six four six is our two point four thou run out. Two point four thou over that distance. And it's improved quite a bit just by cleaning in here. It's not enough out to do anything about it, I don't think. But what I will do is I'll just set this up on the slide here and just clock it along here and see what that tells us. Okay, so that's reading zero now. And that's reading five. So five times 0.4 thou is two thou. But 
let's try something else now. Let's see what's happening with this quill. Okay, set to zero. This is tight, this is tight. Let's move it out. Tighten it up again. Oh, that's pretty good. Less than a thou. So it's either in the bar or in the Morse taper. And it's probably just dirt. Yes, when I check it, there is quite a bit of rust inside the taper back here. And there's one or two dinks as well. Now, whether it's worth me getting a Morse taper three reamer and just cleaning that up, I don't know, I'd have to think about that. But now I'm going to try something else. Okay, now I'm clocking inside the morse. This. That's the zero point. That is nine one hundredths of a millimetre away from me. Five one hundredths of a millimetre high, this is high, on this side, excuse me, four one hundredths of a millimetre this way, pushing towards the wall, and then back to zero. Nine one hundredths is 36, 3.6 thou, but it could easily be where. I hope we're not totally lost in numbers now. I think it was worth doing to increase my confidence. And I hope it was useful for you. So thank you for watching Hacksby Shed.